Welcome to another edition of Office Hours. We are starting a little early today. I got some things to do and um, I'm in the office a little bit early. So I decided to start our um, office hours a little bit early today. So we'll give a little second for people to come in. But hi, this is Professor Nick Carbonaro. You can find me on Twitter at NJ Carbonaro. Go to my website, nickcarbonaro.com. Email me, ncarbonaro at lbcc.edu. We are having our office hours today. Um, we usually do it between 5.30 and 6, but I decided to do it a little early today. Uh, for my students, I emailed every single one of you. And I said that there was going to be an office hours changing this week. It's only for this week. This week only. I'm going to be out of town on Friday when I normally conduct my office hours from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. 12 noon. Uh, but I'm going to be out of town this weekend. So those two additional hours I'm making up. So I already did one hour here. So uh, I was here from 4 to 7 tonight. So I still got a couple hours left in my office. You could swing by. Uh, four to seven tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to be doing an extra extra hour of office hours after my social media class gets out so we get out at around 4 10 tomorrow for my social media class and so I'll be back in my office by that time by 4 30 and so I'll conduct an hour office time from 4 30 to 5 30 so not usually here on Tuesday nights so if, if that helps you out come visit me in my office hours during that time but uh 4 30 to 5 30 tomorrow and then those will be my office hours this week like i said friday's canceled uh just for this week only it'll resume next week but uh friday's canceled this week i'm gonna be out of town so that's what we're doing and so just want to welcome everybody back you know we're uh getting back into the swing of things i know last week was the first week back from spring break so we're, we're trying to get back in the swing of things and and really at the end of this week so by the time i talk to you next week we will only have six more weeks of school left. We're going by really fast. The second half of the semester flies by. And so, um, so yeah, that's going on. Uh, so again, because I'm not having office hours, I won't have a Fun Fact Friday uh, this Friday. I may do something. Um, I, may, I may do something later on, but, but, not, uh, but not on Friday. I don't think I'll, I'll do anything on Friday. But uh, that's what's going on for me. And so let's get started. I'm just going to kind of break down what's going on for this week. Each class has different stuff. We're getting back in the swing of things so that we are able to uh, really bounce ourselves out. And if you have any questions, none of my classes have tests this week. So um, there should be no test questions. None of my classes have assignments due this week. So it's just straight lectures. So make sure we're, we're coming to class and we're doing the top hats and still getting those, those points that way. But uh, let, let, let me get started. Let me let me roll up this screen over here so that you could exactly see what I'm seeing. So let me start off. You know what? Let me let me go back to here. Uh, let me start off for GBiz 10 online because I know the majority of you that are that are watching and that watch this uh, um, live stream later on because you could always go find it archived under my playlist will be from my GBiz 10 online class. And so this is what's going on for GBiz 10 online. We uh, grades have been posted, grades have been updated already. I updated them just now. Um, but one thing that I, I realized when a couple students email me was that LMS switched uh, right after spring break or right before spring break. LMS switched their way of of, of doing their their schooling, their grading and stuff. And so if you've noticed, there's there's the, the interface of uh, LMS looks a little different. Well, the same thing happens with the grading portion of LMS. This grading portion does the same thing where now all of a sudden it doesn't show what your current grade is. It just shows the total amount of points and, and uh, it shows the total amount of points that you've accumulated and it, it doesn't show um, the uh, what your current grade is at. And so I contacted the administrators. IT's working on that. They're trying to give me a solution. But as for now, I could tell you um, for our entire class, it's 433 points are available. 
so far. I mean, have been available so far. So up until this point, up until April 17th at 5.15 in the nighttime, um, there are 433 points available in LMS. That's including all of our assignments that we've taken up to this point, uh, all of our quizzes we've taken up to this point, our midterm test, and our discussion boards. So whatever your grand total is, divide it by 433, and you will get your current grade. So that's what's going on for that. For our online class, we're up. We're up to date. This week, we're actually doing insurance. Last week, we did car stuff, purchasing a car, purchasing a home. Today, we're actually going to start protecting those assets. Protecting those assets. So we're going to be talking about insurance this week. That's for our online class. So if you're just joining us from our online class, make sure to watch the video because I just uh, watched this YouTube video because I just talked about our online class for this week. If you have any questions, like always, chat them in. Subscribe to the channel so that you're, you're getting constant updates on stuff. I may post something on Friday. Like I said, I'm not in the office this Friday, but I may post something business related in regards to... Uh, where I'm where I'm going I'm going out of town for a little bit so um, I may do a quick follow-up you know selfie stick style out out in the field um, reporting on business and stuff like that but as for uh, formal fun pack Friday probably not probably won't be doing that type of thing this week this week so that is for our Jeebus 10 online for our GBiz 10 in class, let me post that up now. So now we have our GBiz 10 in class. You can see we last week we had our guest speaker in our test. Very good results on the test. Um, we're going to go over, not go over the exam questions and specifically next week, but I mean next class. But we'll be talking about the test. I'll be telling us, I'll be telling the class. What's been going down with the test and, and some details that I need to go over with you for the exams. But uh, very good job on the exams. Very, very good job on the exams. We have our we had our guest speaker. That video is actually posted. I posted that on Friday as a as part of the Fun Fact Friday. It doesn't have the same thumbnail for Fun Fact Friday. It shows uh what does it say? It says something about protecting assets. It says uh uh protection I protection identity theft and stuff like that so go back and check out that video that video will uh, definitely help you out you know show your friends show your family on on certain ways to uh, protect your identity and protect your mainly password management but this week we start for the next three weeks we do lecture on uh, well the next couple days we go do lecture on chapter 9 we're talking about car purchasing chapter 10 uh, we're going to be talking about uh, home purchasing and then chapter 11 is insurance and then chapter 12 I think is uh, health care insurance and, and health care. So uh, the next couple of weeks is uh, purchasing and protecting your assets. So make sure you're here for that stuff. Um, we'll be going over the test results. There's no homework due, not for a little bit. Uh, one thing that is coming up in about a month from month from now actually less than a month actually less than a month um, the drop date right here the drop date so meaning this if you are enrolled in the course and you don't think you're getting that great of a grade and you want to maybe repeat the class without any repercussions if you drop by Sunday May 7th you get a W in the class anybody still registered in my class after May 7th will get a grade no matter what so look at your grades look at how you're doing see if habits are going to change i mean if you're failing now and you don't feel like you could change your habits around to pull that up to a c then just drop and take it during the summer i'm teaching this class during the summer as well so um make sure we're make sure we're on top of that so chapter 9 chapter 10 chapter 11 chapter 12 and all that will be tested on on may 9th when your homework is due so you'll come in after the weekend on May 9th, take test number three, take assignment number, turn in your assignment number three before class, 
on those four chapters. And then we go until the final week. So you can see we go three weeks, test. Three weeks, final exam. So um, it's, it's, really, it's really speeding up. So make sure we're, we're doing that. If you have any questions, like always, you know, chat in uh, for your, for your, uh, for GBiz 10, because I'm going to go on to GBiz 5 now. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, go on to GBiz 5. I'll finish up with social media. And then after social media, I just want to give a quick thing about, uh, summer school and, and next semester as well in the, in the classes next semester. And I'll try to pull those up and, and give you a little info on what we're, what we're doing next semester. So our other class, our GBiz 5, we have here, uh, we're in week 10 so we're going we're finishing up the the unit chapter 9 we're going to do chapter 9 on uh chapter 9 is on human resource management so we're going to be talking about uh springing into uh springing because it's springtime springing into uh human resource management and stuff like that so uh and then we have a guest speaker and i advise you highly advise you to come watch the guest speaker um, if you're in my class, if you're not in one of my classes, don't worry. I'm going to, I'm going to live stream it or I, I probably won't live stream it. I may live stream it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see because the thing with live stream is, is that if I, I'll have to, you know, hide the chat so that nobody chats in the questions and stuff like that. Or maybe I will and say, Hey, ask your questions. And then when he does question and answer, um, you could answer in, but, uh, it's gonna be really good. Uh, my 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 good friend and and buddy. His name's Chris Garcia. He's a he's a businessman. He uh, he's a couple years younger than me, so he's about 28, 29, under thirty years old. Entrepreneur started a couple businesses. Is a CEO of of a of a of a couple companies out there that he's created, and. Uh, very good. I mean, he's he's been invited by the White House in the previous administration and this administration to do stuff. So um, he's very high up. He, he represented the State Department at the Global Entrepreneurship Summit. He was on a di diversity coalition this time around. And so um, he's a really good person to, to pick a brain and, and very energetic. Southern California um, probably has the same background as a lot of us students out a lot, a lot of my students out there a lot of you guys out there so highly suggest you come while he's speaking I will either tape it or live stream I'm not sure but I will I will be taping that and uh, either posting it later in the week later that day or live stream and it's posted immediately after so definitely watch that and then next week we have our test and you can see we really move along I mean our introduction to business class we really Think about it. you have a guest speaker you have two tests so before our presentations are due that's a week and a half right there this one this one and this one is a week and a half of, of lesson material that is dedicated to testing guest speakers so really we only have like one two three and a half more weeks of lecture so really focus in because um, we, we finish all our material by May 18th, a month from now, all our material in the class is done. However, we have our presentations due. And remember what I said, the final exam and your presentations, uh, stuff from the presentations will be on your final exam. If you're presenting on this day on, on May 25th, I expect you to take the notes that I'm going to say on May 23rd and apply them to your presentation. If they're not applied, then you will be deducted points off. So that's why I say I grade accordingly. Yes, you're, if you're the last person, you have the most time to get ready, you have the most time to present. But I also expect you to have the most amount of feedback so that your presentations are, are pretty good. And it makes my job a little bit more difficult towards the end because as your presentations get better, I have to really kind of see where I can help you improve upon. So um, keep working with that. Make sure your group projects are coming along. But yeah, the two things that I want you to focus on in GBiz 5, uh, chapter 9 tomorrow, we're going to be doing a top hat right when we walk in regarding chapter 8 material. We'll do chapter, we'll do the top hat in the beginning, finish chapter 9, and then uh, have our guest speaker on Thursday. So you really have a week to prepare for the test. And remember the test, you get a study guide. Uh, study guide's already up, and you get one 3x5 note card handwritten front and back. So make sure you're, you're doing that. And so that is our GBiz 5. No more TED Talks, no more anything. Just focus on those presentations, focus on those projects. 
I want those things to be perfect. So that's that. If you have any questions, please chat them in. And then lastly, and I'll just kind of put this on me, uh, lastly for social media, uh, social media in both of my classes, we're on different schedules right now. So the Tuesday, Thursday class is on a different schedule than the Wednesday night class. Um, and it's not because one's behind or one's advanced or whatever like that. It's just the, each class, and that's what's crazy about social media, and that's what's great about it, is that at any point, you're, uh, <laughs> you, the way that you teach it is different. The way that we, we present the material is a little bit different. So um, our Tuesday, Thursday class, so tomorrow you're gonna be working on those Facebook group pages, right? So your fate, we introduced that project at the very end, at the very end of class, last class, and so you guys got to work on it for about maybe, you know, five to 10 minutes and, and talk about Facebook group pages. Um, this week, we're gonna just be focusing on making those pages. So tomorrow you will be making those pages. And because we're giving you an entire class period, I expect these presentations on Thursday to be flawless. I mean, if you already made the Facebook, then then practice your presentation. Practice what you're presenting. Remember the guidelines we gave you, what we want to see in that presentation. So all that stuff will be presented. Uh, all that stuff will be done tomorrow. So make sure we, we finish up those Facebook pages. We, we create those Facebook pages. And we practice with our team and make sure we know what's going on. On Thursday, we are doing Facebook presentations. So myself, yours truly, will be great in the presentations. Miss Madunery, she won't be here. She's out um, at a conference. So uh, she'll be she'll be missing on Thursday and Tuesday. So uh, we're gonna be doing our presentations on Thursday, our Facebook group presentations on Thursday. I'll have those graded for you, hopefully, by the end of the day. If not, I'll input those in on a Monday when I get back from my, my trip as well over the weekend and then um so that's this week tuesday thursday next week we're starting twitter i'm going to be creating a presentation and then we're going to be doing a group activity where you physically log on and we, i already made you all create twitter accounts and so we did that earlier but i this one we're actually going to talk about the vocab on twitter we're going to talk about um we're going to send and receive tweets in class and so um we're going to be doing all that stuff so that's why I put that video out there. If you don't have the video, I'm actually gonna put it at the end of the video to say how to create a Twitter account. I already created it. I already created the video, but I'll, I'll link to it at the very end of this presentation. You'll see it'll be embedded in this video, um, how to create a Twitter account. So make sure we do that for next week. My Wednesday night class, we just got done doing our infographic presentations, um, which were good. All your other grades should be posted in there. Your uh, LinkedIn is graded, your infographic is graded, so check your grades if, if they're not up. You know, I, if, if they're not up, I probably didn't receive it at the right, at the right time. Uh, we had deadlines, but it's important to make those because with our video, I mean, with, our, with our final project, it's the website that you're gonna be linking your social links to, so you need that. You need that type of, uh, you need those social links. You need the LinkedIn, the Twitters, all that stuff. So that's what's going on with that. And then uh, this Wednesday, though, in that class, this Wednesday, we're gonna we're on a different schedule than the Tuesday Thursday. So uh, myself, along with uh, Miss Rizio, we decided to uh, the first half of class we're gonna go over some uh, vocab, so some social media vocabulary, so stuff that regard because we're gonna be diving into these apps, we want to give you websites we want to give you links we want to give you definitions we want to give you certain other, we want to give you other types of applications to help you make the social media links to help you make the Facebook page to help you utilize your Twitter account to help you create that YouTube channel so we're gonna go over some vocab words we're gonna go over some good vocabulary on what it was what it is and stuff like that and then um, we'll hand back the last two tests that you've had we We've been meaning to give them back, but we just dove into stuff and we had spring break and then last class we were um, doing the presentations and stuff. So uh, we will be doing a vocab in the beginning and then I will be doing the Twitter presentation um, like the last half, last two thirds of class. So 
uh, both classes were just kind of flipping the weeks around and that's just because of the way that the class is moving the, the way that the class is going we have two different teachers I'm the only teacher that's the same between the two of the classes so uh, Wednesday night I teach with Mr. Zio Thursday Tuesday Thursday I teachers with I teach with Miss Madunery so um, it changes back and forth but um, that's regarding classes uh, before I jump into uh, summer school any any questions any questions on on anything and I'll kind of let this uh, I'll kind of let this ride real quick and if you do have questions just type them in there questions comments concerns but I'll put the title card up there um, just until I, I, I get everything else loaded up but I'm still here I'm still here so if you have any uh, questions please you know chat them in let me know but I'm going to open up real quick our school website All right, so let us go here. This is the Long Beach City College website, lbcc.edu. And let me zoom in a little bit so that we could see stuff. Very zoomed in. The reason why I wanted to zoom in was because of this right here. Summer session registration begins on April 24th so a week from today summer session begins a week from I mean that begins registration for summer session begins registration for summer session begins a week from today April 24th classes will run June 19th through August 19th however the business department we have a lot of classes going um, introduction to business is online with mr. Carr uh, maybe on campus with myself, um, not sure yet. I am a 100% definitely teaching introduction to business. Uh, I mean, 100% teaching personal financial management. We have two class sessions um, available. It's it's during the it's during the same the same time frame. So uh, that same early session. So make sure uh, we make sure we're, 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 we're doing that right there so uh, if you if you do have if you do have uh, if you do have and sorry I'm doing two things at once if you do have uh, time in the summer make sure you get ahead make sure you really get ahead because the every year the cost of school it keeps going up every year the cost of school keeps keeps going up so uh, make sure if you are going to be doing um, your school and you want to transfer out you are going to want to get as much school done as fast as you can as fast as you can and so uh, that's that's the reason why we say to make sure we're, we're doing um, we're doing summer school out there so uh, so yeah we want to make sure that summer school is done properly we want to make sure that you're getting ready to go you're getting all the uh, units that you that you can get done for you at the same time so make sure we're going to summer school like I said there will probably be a session um, for introduction to business if you're thinking about taking introduction to business as well there will probably be another session um, in the same early session, June 19th to uh, July 27th, I believe, is the very first session. Uh, and uh, that'll be like Monday through Wednesday, 8 to 10, 10 or something like that, 9 to 11, 10, somewhere around there. So um, 
make sure we, we, we get that going. Make sure that, that everything is good. Make sure that uh, you're preparing. And then for the fall semester, I'll be teaching the same classes, but we're actually gonna have the social media class as a much better time. You see this semester, this year when we did social media was the very first year that we did it. So um, to my students in the past two semesters, this semester, spring 2017, fall 2016, um, y'all were a special breed, meaning like you were the guinea pigs, you were the you were the test rats, you know, you were the lab rats. We tested a lot of our theories on you. We tested a lot of the um, assignments on you and stuff, and you got a really good experience. You you know you you got a firsthand, very first, just like as if you were starting your own small business. How it's like right from the very beginning. You have ups, you have downs, but eventually it smooths out and everything is good. However, this next semester. We, we've taken results for the past two semesters. We've seen what works, we've seen what's failed, we've seen what we can improve upon and stuff. And we're really designing the core course for the next couple semesters to be really good. Um, not to give anything away, but for our PCC class, we may be getting these new classrooms, which are smart, smart tech technology. You know, you have the table, you have hubs and Surface Pro tables and just really high-tech technology. We're getting a couple of VR headsets, so the virtual reality headsets, 360-degree uh, cameras so we can make stuff. And we're going to really try to do a lot more hands-on application next some, next couple semesters with social media because, you know, social media scene changes all the time. So um, it's going to be good. And the great thing about it is we're going to offer the same thing, one night class, one day time. But the daytime this semester was at a hard time. It was like 2.45 to 4.10, which is in the middle of the day and you may have classes that overlap or whatever. But we decided um, because we were able to get together, we were able to make our class schedules differently this year. Oh, it's starting in fall. I believe the class is gonna be on like a Monday and Wednesday at like a 11 o'clock. So it's gonna be at a good time, like 11 to 12.30 type of thing, or 10.50 to 11.20, 10.50 to something. So it's at a good time. We're at a good time. So um, tell all your friends about it. I will be sending out emails, so um, I'm notorious for that. Not, not spamming you, but letting you know the classes that I teach and what you wanna do. So that's that. Um, just to let you know, take summer, take, take anything like that. But uh, before I sign off, if you just came in, I started this session early, still giving you a half hour, but before we sign off, any questions before we go? Any questions? If you have a question, type it in there. I'll, I'll repeat it, I'll answer it. So any questions before we go? All right. Nobody's chatting in anything. Nobody's typing in anything. Um, so with that, I'll leave you. Uh, it's 536 right now. I will be in my office another hour and a half um, to about seven o'clock. So make sure you, uh, if you need anything, call me. I'm in my office. If you call me outside of office hours, I won't answer the phone. Um, I'm not in my office, so I can't answer the phone. If you don't leave a message, I probably won't call you back uh, just because we get messages all the time from from book publishers and other schools and spam type of stuff. So um, unless you leave a message, I'm not answering it. But uh, if you need to find any more information, subscribe to these videos. Um, at the end of this video, I'll put a little subscription thing right now. Um, go to my website, nickcarbonaro.com. Email ncarbonaro at lbcc.edu. Follow me on Twitter. You get a little different perspective of me. At NJ Carbonaro. So other than that, have a great Monday, and I will see you around. Bye.